guys, what is going on? So today's video, we are going to be installing a new outer front door um, right here on our house. Sorry if it's windy. It's, it's pretty windy out there, so you can actually see that flailing in the wind. You can see our front porch. It's actually pretty nice. Actually, there's nothing really wrong with the porch at all. It's a new house, but it's kind of boring. So what we're going to do is we're going to beautify this front porch. We're going to do it in a couple, maybe two to three phases. Uh, this is going to be phase one for sure. This is going to be the installation of the outer screen door. And this is a Larson door. Check it out. Got it right here. We're going to go ahead and pull this thing out and open it up and show you what door we got from Lowe's. That uh, It's pretty awesome. It's got a retractable screen. You pull down the top and it actually, you can get some breeze, cross breeze growing through the house, going through the house. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out, open it up, and then show you what this thing looks like. And all the parts laid out, uh, nice and neat, pretty simple. Uh, there's a, every bag is labeled. You got bag A, B, C, D, E. You have all your closure parts right here. This is for the closure. Uh, these are your little hydraulics. It comes with two of them, one for the top and one for the bottom. Piece of weather stripping. Inside of the door, because this is allowed for a left opening or right side opening door, whichever one you don't use, that has a cover plate that you can put on. So we're gonna use a left side left hinge with the right side opening. So this piece right here will actually go onto this side of the door. Also came with four rails. It came with the top side, which is the hinge. And then it also came with the other side rail. And you can see right here, I believe this is the bottom and then the top sill. And then also it came with three pieces of long plastic weather stripping and of course the box all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go actually install the door I'm gonna do the rails first and kind of just get this thing done the instructions are actually really awesome here they are right here the instructions are in color that's one big giant sheet and it's super easy to understand and to follow it's basically one through uh, ten type of thing steps so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the first maybe a couple steps done and then I'll come back and show you where we're at and if I came up with any hiccups or any tips that I can show you, I will do that next. Here we go. All right guys, so that is the starter um, screw. Basically, you're gonna use that to help hang the door. So you get that lined up and that's going to basically help you hang the door and that's your first placement so now we're coming over here and what i did was for the bottom rail this is not secured in this piece right here will be adjusted to when you get your door hung completely this is a little shield it's a rubber shield this is what you would slide this on all the way and that is it that's going to help prevent any kind of water soap uh, if you're pressure washing your house, anything getting inside. So this will get fastened pretty much probably the last step. You'll adjust this accordingly. Um, and then, you know, get this screwed in. Underneath, there's a couple screw holes right there. Boom, boom. Once you get it to the placement that you want, you'll uh, fasten that down. All right, so the next step is doing the rail, which you can see I got this already started. So right now, there are there is one little pilot hole that's already ready to go you get this one in here and get this one started this is going to be your placement on where to hang this whole hinge system so you can see i've got one two and then over here i got one started to kind of get it so that it doesn't fall down so what we're going to do is we're going to get the rest of these uh, hooked up and then we'll probably be at the phase of hanging the door
Okay, so that is it. Now all the hinges are in place and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put this plate on right quick and uh, that will cover up this hole. And these are self-tapping screws um, so you don't have to pre-drill anything. So that makes life a lot easier as well. So we're on the final phase here. What we're going to do is this final side here, and then we'll adjust the door from the inside, and we should be good. And then the last step is we'll go ahead and put in the door handle, and we'll be done. good all right so there it is right there it's pretty easy insulation honestly uh, it didn't take very much now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the door handles and we shall be done with this door and I went ahead and adjusted the bottom sill plate so now nothing's gonna come into the bottom with water splashing up and this will actually probably give us a little bit better energy savings because now there's two barriers for um, two barriers for weather getting in so all right you ready to have me install this thing yeah. all right I'm gonna do it I'm gonna try it here we go so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna set up and uh, yeah I came with instructions on how to do this and I've never done this before and pretty much have one shot at this because you have to drill multiple holes through the actual aluminum and it comes with everything you need so Pretty excited, but at the same time a little nervous because I've never done this before. All right, here we go. Came with the template. Template is right here. This is this little plastic uh, thing. Now there's a notch you can see right here, and there's a notch right inside the door. I think you could see it. That just goes on there. And now it won't go up or down. Comes with a three quarter inch hole bit, which is really nice. Just line everything up, and uh, yeah, that's that's where we're going to be drilling. Right, guys so you can see that I got all the holes drilled and uh, one two three four using the template that it sent I'm gonna tell you a tip if you are watching this before anything make sure what you do is you do not put your hand like this when you're drilling your inside hole or your second set of holes one two three four because you will go through all the way and you will get your hand I didn't do it I knew it was gonna happen, so I had my hand down here. That way, when I drilled, 
came out this hole, you don't stab yourself. So that's just a little safety tip. You can, I'm sure somebody's done that holding like this, drilling this way and has come right through and I'm sure whew, you could do some damage. So, all right, everybody. So we got everything cleaned up and now we're basically on the final step. We're gonna go ahead and install the uh, door. So without further ado, let's go ahead and add the parts together. It's pretty simple. It's basically everything just lines right up. All right guys, so one thing I wanted to tell you is this part of the um, door, the lock system actually comes with the door. So this goes in here, but what you're gonna need to do is depending on if you are a right entry or a left entry door, you're going to have to get this to spin. And to do so, you take off the front plate. So you gotta take this plate off and you would spin this piece, this is the this is the deadbolt and this is the uh, part that you would turn the handle with. So that spins 180 degrees. Then you put this black back on and then now you're good to go. Oop, make sure I put the plate on correctly. There we go. If I can get it started. Well, there we go. So now my locking mechanism is in the right direction. comes with an Allen key on the inside and what you want to do is um, you, you always want to put the Allen key on the inside that way it can't be removed from the outside so we're gonna do just like that tighten this down See if the thing will deadbolt here. That's it. Awesome. All set. So there's this little ad additional piece here, and what that does is it raises it out and it allows you to adjust. You can see right here, you can slide in or out. Um, if you want to make your, if you need to make your closing a little bit stronger. So here we go. Boom, done. And then this is really cool. So you would just pull this little lever out like that. And then this comes down. Okay. Shut the door. And now we have some nice cross breeze where uh, Mario won't go through the door and uh, yeah, kind of break everything. He won't go through the screen, but we could still have the door open. So awesome, pretty excited. I think it turned out fantastic. Okay, everybody, now that we got the door handles done, we got the door installed, the final thing to do is the closures. Uh, these are the hydraulics that go up at the top and at the bottom. What I'm gonna do is get those installed. They're gonna mount, basically, one is gonna mount right here and the other one is gonna mount at the bottom. I'm gonna get those installed when we come back. Those will be done. Pretty simple to install. It's basically a couple screws in there, a couple screws into the door, attach the hydraulic, and that will keep the door shut. So if the kids walk out, they forgot to leave, forget to leave the door shut, the wind won't catch it and rip the door open, all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those installed. When we come back, those will be done. <laughs>
forgot to add that these were the plastic pieces, the long skinny plastic pieces that go over and it just basically covers up all of the screw holes that you put in to hold this thing in. So I think it looks good. That's it. Signing off. Another project done. Cool. All right, everybody, so that is it. That is the porch Larson door install from Lowe's. Uh, it was a super easy project. Honestly, anybody could do this by themselves. If you just follow the instructions that came with the kit, it is awesome. This thing was super easy. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe down below over here. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, get notified of all of my newest videos. Until then, make sure you all stay awesome. We'll see you on the next build. We're gonna be building a corner farmhouse bench right here. This whole little area right there is gonna be basically a bench that is coming up. Stay tuned, I can't wait to show you that. All right, see you everybody, bye. You like it, Bubba? He wants somebody to walk by. <laughs> so he can bark at him. <laughs> All right, final recap. I think it's awesome, don't you? Love it. Looks really good.